Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat teman-teman semuanya. Selamat bergabung dan jari, dalam jaringan Zoom meeting ini. Wah, semangat banget ya. Minggu pagi sudah mau datang untuk mendapatkan ilmu yang bermanfaat. Oleh karena itu, selamat datang di acara Kreativo International Online Literasi Festival Webinar 2020. Perkenalkan, saya Putri Amalia. Senang sekali hari ini akan membantu rangkaian acara webinar ini. Selama beberapa jam ke depan, kita akan disuguhkan beberapa segmen acara yang tentunya akan sangat selesai. Di antaranya, yang pertama ada welcome speech dan perkenalan kreativo oleh proyek kita. Yang kedua ada talk show dan dengan Encik Khair dan Khairen yang akan dipandu oleh Kreator tamu kita ke Yang ketiga ada sesi tanya jawab. Yang keempat ada kuis hadiah, parfum, buku dan saldo e-wallet. Dan yang terakhir ada pembagian absensi yang ini akan dibagikan di akhir acara. Nah, selama acara teman-teman jangan mute mikrofonnya ya. Lalu kolom chat hanya untuk pertanyaan saja. Nanti di Q&A. Wah, semoga tidak sepakat. Tanpa berlaku, mari kita lanjut proyek officer kita, Pak Aldi, dan tempat. Oke, terima kasih MC. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih yang sudah hadir, yang saya hormati Bapak CEO dari Kreativo, dan yang saya hormati juga dua pembicara kita hari ini yaitu Tuan Khair dan Kak Khairen, serta moderator kita kali ini yaitu Kak Alan, dan yang saya banggakan teman-teman QLED Factor serta partisipan yang telah hadir pada hari ini. Mungkin sedikit yang akan saya sampaikan, Terima kasih karena telah bergabung untuk kita seminar hari ini. Dan juga kita akan mengadakan dua, web, dua hari webinar, yaitu pertama yang akan di, akan ada pembicara yaitu Tuan Khair dan Kak Khairen, dan yang hari kedua yaitu Tuan Ramli dan Pak Aryo. Teman-teman partisipan boleh diminta kehadirannya untuk kedua hari tersebut. Oke, okay. mungkin itu saja yang saya sampaikan. Boleh dilanjutkan. Saya kembalikan lagi kepada MC. Saya akhiri. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dan setelah ini ada sesi perkenalan moderat. Halo, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you everyone for joining our event. Yeah. Perkenalkan saya Novia Bayu, selaku CEO dari Creativo. Ya, terima kasih kehadirannya yang terhormat kepada pembicara. 
Cuci air Oke. dan airan. Ya, sudah semangat banget ketemu sama teman-teman semua di sini. Gimana kabarnya, Nek? Semuanya? Alhamdulillah baik. We are fine, we are fine. Baik. Semoga good. Sehat ya. Nah, sedikit kenalan dari Kreativo. Ya. Teman-teman di sini pada rata-rata usianya berapa sih? Belum udah tahu. 20-an, 30-an? Ecin. We have to ya. our step in our WhatsApp group. <laughs> Oke, dua puluhan mungkin ya teman-teman ada siswa dari SMA dan sebagainya, atau ada yang dari Indonesia, bahkan dari Malaysia, India pun ada. Lihat dari pendaftaran kemarin. Ya, sedikit kita uh, kreatif itu adalah sebuah event organisasi dan mengembangkan kompetensi pemuda ya, di bidang pendidikan, pengetahuan, kepemimpinan dan lain sebagainya. Nah, di sini kita kembangkan uh, kreatif ini agar nantinya pemuda-pemuda bangsa Ya, itu memiliki pengetahuan bahkan di tingkat internasional dan juga dapat memimpin teman-teman yang lainnya. Maka dari sini kami pun dibentuk untuk meningkatkan uh, kemampuan hard skill dan soft skill-nya. Nah, kesempatan pada kali ini kita belajar tentang literasi, ya, belajar tentang literasi, bagaimana meningkatkan budaya membaca dan lain sebagainya. Nah, kedepannya kita akan mengadakan event-event yang lebih menarik lagi. Dan juga visi kami yang menjadi kesempatan dalam mengeksplorasi dan pengembangan kompetensi pemuda pada cakupan nasional dan internasional. Oke, ini ya kita yang saya sampaikan tadi. Kita ingin banget bisa memajukan dan mental dari uh, bangsa, ya. bahkan ke tingkat internasional nanti. Nah, kemudian uh, misi dari kami yaitu yang pertama fasilitasi yang uh, memberikan jembatan. Kita mengadakan kegiatan-kegiatan yang mengasah pengetahuan, kemudian uh, relasi, dan juga skill-nya kita. <laughs> Oke, yang kedua, melaksanakan kegiatan yang melatih karakter dan keinginan. Di sini kita ke depannya ingin ngadain ya, ya. event di mana kita bisa bertemu dan juga saling uh, tukar pikiran ke depannya juga. Dan yang terakhir adalah membangun generasi muda yang inspirasi, di mana kita ingin... Um, membuat uh, anak-anak, in, anak-anak bangsa ini ya Indonesia, Malaysia dan juga lainnya itu bisa memberi manfaat dan juga inspirasi bagi teman-teman yang lainnya. Oke okay, next. Oke okay, itu ya dari dari saya sedikit pengenalan dari data ya kita tunggu lagi di next lah di next event selanjutnya. Oke okay. uh, untuk selanjutnya silahkan kembalikan ke MC. Terima kasih saya selamat pagi dan semangat Mat. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih Kak Novia. Jadi setelah ini ada perkenalan moderator Jadi ada Kak Alan Dwi Pranata dari Malang 12 Maret 1996 dari Indonesia Akademik Titel S1 Komputer Bachelor of Communication GPA and 3,85 out of 4 Current op- Occupation is tutor. Alamatnya di Jalan Puputan, Gang 9, Nomor 3, Kelurahan Semarapura, Kot Kungkung, Bali. Nomor WhatsApp-nya 0895 tiga delapan tiga delapan tiga dua sembilan sembilan empat tiga 
kan juga karena Ejima Facebooknya Alan Di Pranata Skype-nya Live Alan Jukarin Twitter-nya Alan Cisong Instagram-nya Alan Di Pranata dan lainnya Alan Nah jadi kawan ini Kenal dia di Universitas Brawijaya Empat tahun Dari tahun 2014 sampai 2019 Sekolah menengah kejuruan satu Kungkung Senior Vocation High School Intermedia 2010 sampai 2013 Sekolah menengah pertama Negeri 2 Semarapura Junior High School 2007 sampai 2010 Sekolah Dasar Negeri Satu Pura Kot Elementary School 2000 sampai 2007. Institution dari Direktur Head of Research of Development Student Executive Faculty of I think there is so, more yeah. substantial content. I think there is more substantial substantial content content in the following page. We can directly go to the next page about the words and achievement. Hello, Putri. Hello, Putri. Am I with Putri? Hi, Alan. I'm sorry. I think Putri um, is having a signal problem. Okay, so yeah, Kak Alan. Kak Alan already um, went to Turkey, Japan, and America, and also uh, partaking in a competitions in Asian. and also already get a fellowship so yeah he is um very um achieving yeah um maybe he will uh, give us inspiring um talk show today with all the speakers um so for the participants um please um uh give attention to the talk show yeah okay um we will give the session to kaalan kaalan um you can introduce yourself and also the speakers thank you okay thank you the master officer thank you the master of ceremony i'm alan di pranata and i've come here to create the international online literacy festival webinar 2020 with the theme one book thousand advantages to go head to head with Muhammad Khairangadiran. Muhammad Khairangadiran is an expert of the stream collection antara banyak sinar entah mengapa bulan juga menawan pandang. Has the experience of leading the Malaysian Institute of Books and Translation, which will be our focus today, as the managing director or chief executive officer for 11 years, from December 2007 to October 2018, and he worked as a law he has worked as a law lecturer at the International Islamic University of Malaysia for 17 years. Okay. And his best contributions are leading the Malaysian delegation in participating in participating the Tokyo International Book Fair as the guest of honor and assemble at the Indonesia International Book Fair and Riyadh International Book Fair. Okay, we are also joined. We are also joined from Tangerang by Jombang Santani Khairan, the second speaker for today's webinar. He is an author, script writer. actor content developer and a typewriter guy he's a truly passionate writer 
He wrote so many books in such a young age. The author of two national bestsellers, Kami Bukan Sarjana Kertas dan Kami Bukan Jongos Berdasi. Okay? It is not worth it as a remarkable achievement that these two novels become national bestsellers within only one week since these were published. These two books were published. The author of an inspiring, motivational, heart-touching novel, uh, Bunda so Lisa, is Indonesian. Yes? I think uh, uh, we, we should go straight to the talk show because... Okay, okay. Okay, Kak Kiran. Which Indonesian prominent actress, Dan Sastro, President Joko Widodo, Governor, and his best friend, and well-known presenter Andy Evnoya put their words of appreciation. So they are the speakers for today's webinar, and please welcome this our special guest speakers today. Okay. Anci? Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Anci, thank, you, Alan. Okay, thank you, Alan. Thank you, Alan. Thanks for joining me. Your English is thank solid, bro. You had the British uh, accent really good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you thank came you. from the same university with Harry Potter? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish I was to attend the same university. Yeah. Okay, thanks for joining me, uh, Pak Cik Ngadiron and Kang atau Bang Hairan. So, uh, today I'm meeting with the very special guest and according to my personal view, Viewpoint, you will be my insp inspiration, especially uh, for the youth. Kak ada atau abang uh, Khairan mengambil mengambil siapa nih kak? Atau yeah. bang? Boleh abang boleh. Aja ya, abang. Okay, let's start our talk today. Uh, so the first, okay, or the three green question that I will give to both speakers. Okay, it's talking about literacy or specifically in reading and writing. So uh, this is the same question that I will give to both the speakers. When or what, I mean what, what was the first book you read? What was the first book you read and the text you uh, wrote for the first time? Okay, I'll go to Nchi Khadiron. Okay, Ellen, I have to be honest with you. I don't, I don't remember. I'm old. Okay. I don't remember what is the first uh, book that I, I read and also the first sentence that I wrote. But I came from a very uh, a rural area, village, where my belief is that at that time, what is your first sentence is not important, what is your first book is not important. Okay. What is more important at times, how, how should we survive? So I, I don't really recall of, of what first sentence and what book that I wrote. Oh, okay. what, what percent that I wrote? Okay, Encik Khoir. So, what exactly something that inspired you for the first time okay, to, 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 to start writing or start reading a text? For example, perhaps you have your fellow students in, in elementary school or even you have your mentor or subject specialist which motivated, who motivated you to start writing, to start reading, and then, yeah, who, who or what? something or someone who inspired you to start reading or writing? Uh, actually, it is my late father. My late father, uh, Haji Ngadiron, is uh, every weekend, he will uh, bought uh, a newspaper in Jawi, uh, written in Jawi, and he, he will read from front to back. As a kid, I always admire that. And, 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 and by having that, I will always wait after he finished, I will be the first one who will read that paper. So I believe that is the things that inspire me uh, because uh, my father is just a Felda setter that's been working at a Club Persawit, uh, uh, our own Club Persawit, and then, uh, uh, he, but he liked to read. So okay. by, uh -huh. so that, that inspired me actually. Okay, the same question will go to Kak Khairan. So, do you still remember, or even you have a vivid uh, remembrance or memory about the first book that you read, or even the first book that inspired that in, inspire you, and then you come all this way to be an influencer in, 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 in literacy, especially in fiction or recently in cinematography? Okay, do you still remember Kak Khairan? 
No, I don't really remember. But if I have to recall, maybe there are some books that I used to read when I back in seven years old or eight years old. <laughs> It's the story about uh, just like you did, I think, a uh, story about Prophet Muhammad and other prophet, and also serial comic, Dragon Ball serial comic. Do you know that? Oh, okay. Yeah, and about the first, the first book or, or the first time I got its inspiration to to really started to read a book is back in 2013. Uh, in my university, we have we 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 know that uh, there is someone working for us. Uh, he's a, a an office boy in my organization, and since the since the Ibu Sri Mulyani, the Minister of Finance, is a stu- student in my university, he already take that job until the day uh, until the until 2013 and. Then, so he is like a Dumbledore for us. He's like Dumbledore. Yeah, he's like Sir Alex Ferguson for us. Even <laughs> even though he's not an, an uh, even though he's not an educator, he, he's not a teacher. But <laughs> we think. Mm-hmm. Uh, we think that uh, he has a very big contribution. So I have to. Mortalize his story to a book, so my friends one day, my junior still can read his inspiring story. That is. I noticed that you said office boy. Yeah. Office boy. Is that the office boy that inspired you to write one of your books? Called yeah, yeah. Harum? Harum? Actually, my first book. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what is exactly the story in order to so I I uh, I can't um, make up a story. I can make up a perception. Bear in my mind that that office boy is really inspiring person. It's your source of inspire inspire inspiration. So, what is exactly the story which lies behind this book, your first book, according to you, according to your statement? So. So. This organization was was a journalistic organization, and all of the members love to write. We love to do research, and this office boy, he worked for for us like uh, preparing a, a tea for for us, and uh, bringing up all the stuff anywhere. It, he's like a helper for us, but he has started the the job since. Uh, Maybe eighty something. So, since he's he was very young, since the time uh, Mrs. Strimoyani uh, still a student in our university until my day, he loves to work with us, and he keep all the story from generation to generation, and that is that that is why I think he's so ins- inspiring. Even though he's not, he's not an economic uh, graduation. I think he had one of the smartest. Uh, if we discuss about economic, he can bring us deep and deeper, deeper and deeper. And he also like father figure to us. Okay. That is why. Okay. Do you intend to? Um, give an implicit message you know, through, uh, through writing your book called Carnal that perhaps someone someone doesn't have a special position in hierarchical structure okay, within the society, but he, he can be the inspiration. He can inspire yeah. person. He can motivate person to, be, to, to make a such remarkable achievement or remarkable work. You say that your first book. So do, do you intend to implicitly send or convey this message to the to your readers or to your audience yeah yeah uh, because what, what what i believe is uh what i believe is we don't have to we don't have to search for a very famous person to get 
inspiration. We don't have to, you don't have to look at celebrities or politician, but we know that in our surrounding there could be a, there could be any inspiring people. So as a as a as a writer or just a uh, just just a people, I mean, you have to look at your surrounding. Oh, I think my neighbor is really good. Uh, my my securities. Ah, uh, he keeps smile for me every day, and behind the smile, there must be a story. Okay, I'll okay. I'll go to Anti Khair. Okay, we already knew that you are also the author of two books. Okay, two books: Stulus Kata, Stulus Kata, and a Putri Collection. Antara banyak sinar, entah mengapa bulan juga menawan pandang. Okay, but. Okay. The question that I would like to ask to you because um yeah that, this is the book okay, okay. <laughs> and the question that I'd like to ask to you because uh, I I really wonder to know the story which lies behind this book Tulus Kata or the Naked Truth okay the first question okay what is your motivation or you know, what is your motivation or what is your inspiration in order to you wrote this book. The naked truth, or what the meaning lies behind this book. Okay, that's Jake Clear. Okay, Alan. Uh, this is a very simple book actually. The what uh, inspire me to publish this book is basically uh, I have been working with uh, Malaysian National Institute of Translation for years. I always encourage people to publish book, to write book, but. I must be a, a example for that. That is why I need to publish a book. That is that is as simple as that. But publishing a book, uh, well, uh, I think Hiren is, is telling the story behind it. But sometimes we can do more simpler than that. Let me show an example of my book, the Stulus Kata. The Stulus Kata is you can look at this. It is just a quotation. Okay. My quotations of book, but I do it a uh, slightly in a, a slightly different way, where it's like an accordion book, and inside it is some of my uh, writing in my Facebook and my other social media. For example, I wrote, "Dalam dunia niaga kita perlu rajin melihat dan sentiasa pula kelihatan," and we translated in, into English in this book too. In the business, in the business world, always be aware and always be visible. So this is a quotation of uh, my experience. And sometimes I'm the CEO of the company. I got slightly angry with my staff, but now now that I cannot scold them, it will become viral. So I I write a thing uh, uh, like 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 this. Andai jawatan bertongkat kuasa, maka kehormatan pun bertabur merata-rata. With power come respect. This way, but of course, sometimes uh, to make it more like a uh, uh, long in, in longer way. So I publish this, this book, Tulus Kata. So that is what inspired me. My belief is that everybody can write. Everybody has story like what Hiren said. Uh, just a good another another thing that inspire me is because basically. Uh, those days, I believe uh, Malaysia and Indonesia are sharing the same uh, his history. You have uh, Dutch as your colonial master. We have uh, uh, the British and also the Portuguese. And do you know that those days, the manager, the chief club of all the all the estate that they are working with, after they went back to the country, they wrote a book, a club. We wrote a book about the horror story in Malaya, and this example of uh, Malizi, which has been written by uh, Andre Fakuna from uh, from uh, uh, France, from France. Uh, it, it is a French. In 1930, the book uh, obtained a. a a uh, gone called what from Paris, and the book, the beautiful part of it is that 
in this writing it is in in in, in, in uh, french but they will put some pantone in every uh, earlier chapter which i believe pantone. that they respect pantone pantone is actually the legacy just being uh, accorded by unesco belong to indonesia and malaysia yeah. we jointly own pantone because we come from the same root and we should not quarrel on that i believe Yeah. We should actually uh, celebrate it. So, and and the, and the and the pantun is actually uh, uh, written in 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 Malay. Uh, I give you example. In, in this one, I don't know exactly what because it is in French. I cannot read French. But the pantun is kupu-kupu terbang melintang, terbang di laut di ujung karang. Pasal apa berhati bimbang dari dahulu sampai sekarang? What I'm trying to say is that. Just like Heron, which I agree totally, everybody has a story. If, uh, for example, uh, a club coming to uh, Nusantara, and they, when they went back, they wrote a book. Why can't we? Our uh, guru in Pesantren, they have all the kitab kuning. Kitab they kuning. share everything. Uh, kitab kuning, eh? yellow. <laughs> kitab kuning. I believe Alan no you come from yes. San Kan too right? <laughs> and then I I believe that that is that, that that's that's what inspire me that is my first book uh, my second book uh, antara banyak sinar entah mengapa bulan juga menawan pandang is a collection of poetry uh, I always uh, went around uh, I went to Frankfurt I went to Tokyo I went to Al Aqsa so And every time I I go around, I will... I'm so sorry. Uh, I beg your pardon, Encik uh, Encik Khair. Your microphone is muted. Okay, okay. sorry. This uh, this one is a uh, when I uh, go around the world. So I I write something and then I say it, uh, with 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 people, and then okay. I'm looking for my can, can I continue or we go to Heron? I talk a lot. Okay, okay, Nchi. Uh, I will go to uh, Kak Khaira. Okay, you are you are the author of <laughs> national bestseller. Kami bukan sarjana kertas, kami bukan jongos berdasi, okay? Yep. And um, what 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 is what it's what can be considered as a remarkable achievement? I already mentioned before that these national bestsellers or these two your works, yeah, these two works could be a national bestsellers within only one week since these were published. So it indicates, based on my own belief. It indicates that there is something in these books. Okay, so I want you to tell about the content. The, 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 the spoiler. It can be the spoiler. Okay, the spoiler of your US national uh, national bestsellers. Okay, can you tell me the the core or the essence of the story? And according to your experience, what what criteria or what characteristic which should be possessed, which should be Uh, implemented or owned by a work or lit a work in literacy, which can I can like you, the national bestseller. What are the characteristics? So that's for Kak Khaira. Uh, this voice is echoing. Hello. Okay. So, yeah, about Sarjana Kertas and Jongos Berdasi. Uh, these two books. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. If if you are Indonesian, if you go straight to the Gramedia, you, you can walk to the to the bestseller list, and you just grab it and go back home. <laughs> the story. Hmm. The story is about. A group of students. They they had a messy life. They are not smart. They they are like a, what what do we call it? 
mahasiswa buangan i think uh, they don't have hope for the future and they don't even know what dream is they don't understand how to fight the real situation in the real life just like the other university even though they are really good like in uh, for example i come from the best university in indonesia universitas indonesia my friends yeah they are so ambitious they are smart they they know what to achieve in their life but not with these people because in majority uh in majority especially in indonesia sorry to say most of the young people didn't really know how to fight in this real world that is why then i wrote these books up until now there are already three books in this serial and probably probably next year i will go for the fourth book and the fifth book i don't know uh, uh, and the, what message i want to send is come on you can survive you can fight you can win even if you are not from the best university but if you have the best attitude if you have the a strong a strong willingness if you have a uh uh instruct what to if you if you can make your networking and if you can uh what do we call it in english uh berpintar-pintar i mean berpintar uh how how do we call it uh, uh flexible to the situation or uh, you can adjust yourself to the best to the to, to every possibilities that come to your life that is one of the message then i try to write each message to each character this character want to deliver what is he an asshole is he, uh, 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 mommy's mommy mommy or daddy son is he a a, a, la- a lazy person or is he, is he a really ambitious one uh, and then i i find out that people love that kind of story people think that the characters relate to them and then there there is also answering the second question if you want to make your books go uh national best you have to write something that deep and also related to to the readers uh, resonance in on their mind so uh, most of the most of the first timer writer think that oh my idea is really good everyone has to read it because i have an amazing imagination no no you are not you you are not but the 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 thing is you have to write something that your readers need with your imagination don't write something based only only uh, on your call i mean Oh, I think I I'm gonna write the best the best uh, 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 science fiction work. But if nobody related to the characters, no, no, uh, people think that writing stories like Harry Potter is so easy, but it's not. Harry Potter, if he is not an orphan, if he is not facing so many circumstances, we are not reaching him. Uh, the 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 wizardly war is only additional to the story but we have something so close to harry we love the struggle we love how he fight his way to to be deserved as the best wizard that what make us think that he's us okay thank you uh, kak khairan but i think it is my personal viewpoint that these two books Yeah, these two books, which had been awarded as the best uh, national bestsellers, is actually should it actually should not be awarded as national bestseller. Okay, 
it is your life. It is the story of your life, which is which should be nature of bestseller. So I want to ask you about I I I would like to highlight one sentence, which I believe I believe is an it is in accordance with my story with many things that I have experienced that I had experienced in in, in my entire life. Okay, yeah. your quote is you said that mimpimu belum tinggi kalau belum diketawain orang. Okay. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay, so I believe, yeah, I believe that you experienced something, so you, <laughs> you were inspired to compose that sentence. Okay. Yeah, what yeah. is exactly what what is exactly the story which lies behind these words? Actually, this is the very first time in a talk show the moderator asks this kind of question. What are you doing in your life, Alan? <laughs> are you a detective or what? So, basically, my first and second book doesn't really go well in the market. As a as an economic student, I should not work as a writer. I should go to the bank, to the consulting life. Uh, but some of few of my very close friends adopted me and 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 talk behind me and started to slowly uh, separated from me uh, and they say bad words and but it's okay uh, and I know that my first and second book is is not that well on the market and not that not, not also well on the writing side and then I try to learn from the best I read more books I yeah I learn as much as possible And then come in the third and fourth book, uh, my books hit the bestseller, and then goes up, goes up, goes up until the eighth book, the Kami bukan sahaja kertas one. I thought that the my third book is already good because uh, my publisher said in a year we 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 reprinted it about six times, but in this book it goes eleven time, and only nine months so so yeah but actually that sentence is not came from me the sentence is come from one from of my best, best friend, friend. Yeah. Uh, from the high school okay he, he he came along the way from West Sumatra to to Jakarta to attend my graduation he's like yeah from from my elementary school he's like my real friend and he said that sentence with the following jangan mau jadi raja don't, don't don't you be proud if you are a king in the in the in the at nest di kandang semut but you it's something if you become a king in the elephant nest okay. that was he said Okay, okay, dude. That that hit me so hard. So okay, I mean, okay. I'm I came from the best university, but what? Everyone is yeah. Everyone's really that good here. That sentence punch you right on yeah. your face. That is not only right in my face, but like actually, he is a pencaksila. He 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 joined the pencaksila, so he really punched me. He really punched me with <laughs> sand. Yeah. And yeah, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then, yeah, six months after that, I, I, I published my third book, and the book is went well. Uh, and I, 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 I try to make a better book than my third book. Every time I publish new book, I, I, I always think how to make this one better than the previous one. That is the mental, the mental statement I put on my writings. This one. Have to be better than the previous one. If not, why should I write this one? Okay, you listen to that statement, guys. That the principle is not to be the best, but to be better. If you compare to the previous of you, yeah, the previous of you, the previous person of mm -hmm. yourselves. Okay, that's the message that I yeah. gain. That I uh, that I try to obtain from uh, Kaheran's explanation. Okay, and then. Thank you, Kak Khairan. Uh, I'll go. I'll go to Anjit Khair. Okay, 
but I already read that Malaysia provided around five million or exactly five million five million Malaysian ringgit to have book publishing in all kinds of genre. Okay, it was specifically even even it was specifically focused on encouraging young writers and uh, according to the article that I already read, okay, okay that I already read that um, it 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 uh, this, this this initiative involved I E T B M, okay, E T B M, which is part which is the strategic partner for Pena Persatuan Nasional Penulis Malaysia. Okay, um, what the question that I'd like to ask to you is, it's really expensive. It's really expensive. This is a very large amount of money that Malaysian government spent on only publishing. Okay, what on earth was happening on that situation? Why? Why? Why should be five million Malaysian ringgit? Okay, what kind of dreams? What kind of uh, objective that Malaysian government tried to abolish ITBM as a strategic partner of Pena? Okay, that's in Bitcoin. Thank you. Well, that is an expensive question. Uh, Ellen, some of the story that you ask will be in my next book. Uh, my next book would be Grab Blues, uh, CEO Jadi Pemandu. This is a story of actually when uh, my job as CEO of ITBM, uh, after almost 11 years, they did not renew me. So I have one year of not doing anything exactly. I don't have a job offer. So I, what I did is I become a grabber. I drive my car and take passenger from one place to another place, etc. Et so, uh, uh, it, it, uh, are you, can you hear me clearly? Yeah, it's clearly. It is very clear. Okay. okay. And then, okay. What happened is that when I became the CEO of, of ITBM, that's one occasion that uh, I can sit behind, uh, I can sit just beside the Prime Minister of Malaysia. At that time, Datuk Sri Najib Tunazak. He just sit beside me. We have other programs. And he asked me one question. He said, why a, a professor so-and-so really angry to the government? He's talking about one nation laureate, which is actually go against the government. So he asked me, why is that so? I just told him bluntly at that time, I don't think, well, sir, we do not we do not take care of him, and he starts staring at me and say, "What do you mean, sir? He just want to be a full time writer, but even that the country cannot fulfill his dream. He has done a lot to the country. Oh, and then he start nodding and ask me question. What should we do? At that time, I told him, sir." Uh, Pena will be celebrating 50 years of the uh, association and never in the history of uh, the association the Prime Minister come for the dinner. Uh, I said, okay, I will come, he said. Okay, and he asked me, uh, what should we do? What the writer want? The writer just want their book to be published. Okay. So after that, uh, he came to the uh, dinner and he, he changed. Previously, we are Malaysian National Institute of Translation, but he changed our name from Malaysian National Institute of Translation to Malaysian National Institute of Translation and Books. That means we are given a new task uh, publishing a book, especially for the young writer. That's what we did. That's how we get 5 million, after that, another 5 million, and after that, another 5 million. What we did with that with, with Prime Lenin is we have a Sayambara Penulisan novel, Chopin and Puisi. And then we have twice for that. And I think we've uh, published more than 
seven uh, hundred uh, titles using that that uh, money, especially goes to the young writer. That is the story, Ellen. Okay. Okay. G uh, previously, you said that everybody can write. Okay. Everybody has story, and you have many stories. And you already wrote some of your stories, okay? And I want you to tell a little bit of your story, your story in your life. How can you, okay? Or how did you come all this way? How did you come all this way as um as a as a strategic partner of the of Malaysian government to encourage young writers as well as to uh, to improve literacy rate? So it is one of important, I believe, it is one of important aspects or components in building a civilization. So how can you come all this way? Can you tell me the story? Just, just a short story. So you, 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 you were this, uh, you were the, you played an important role in ITBM, which, uh, which was the strategic partner for Pena, and you uh, inspired the government even at that program. Yeah, initiated. Even you can. I can say that you can trigger, you can, yeah, you can move the government's heart to assist the funding until uh, we, we, which which achieved five million Mal Malaysian English ringgit. So, what was happened on yourself? How can you come all this way? Uh, well, that is a tough question. I don't know, but I come from kampung, from village. I'm a kampung. I always say that kampung. Uh, actually, my father is Javanese. My name is Muhammad Hir Ngadirun. I can speak Javanese too. Yeah, I went to Jakarta and meet my yes, parents to speak Javanese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that my belief is that you talk about civilization. For us from the Nusantara, from Indonesia or Malaysia, I don't think I don't think that we can compete with people on technology. We don't have enough money to compete with them. And we are like 100 years for that. But we have our story. We have our uniqueness, which we can share to people. And it can come from books. Our story, how we build our nation. You have Indonesia, you have Wali Songo. All those stories actually can be told to the people. We have Hantua. The story that actually our legend, the hero, go down to the deep sea, up to the sky, uh, stronger than Superman, but we don't really tell them to the people, to the world. That's why my belief is uh, our country, just like Malaysia or Indonesia, we can be success, successful in showing to the people through our literary and through our literature. We live in Malaysia, we have uh, Malaysia, uh, Malay, Chinese, Indonesia, Iban, Daya, all those, but we can live together. Nehru did mention earlier on, when Malaysia want to obtain independence, that your country won't survive because we have different races. But we show to them they are wrong. That means we have our own uniqueness. Then this uniqueness should be told to be shared. This is what we are trying to do. That's why uh, in my course of action, actually, in 12, 2016, you did mention that Malaysia is the guest of honor for I'm the leader for leading uh, uh, for the, when we are the guest of honor for uh, International International Book Fair in 2016. For the first time, we bring two ministers of education from Malaysia, Mahathir Halid, and uh, from Indonesia, Pak Muhajir, together. Because my belief is, like Indonesia and Malaysia, we have a lot of similarities that we should be shared. But what we do now is that we are, we are finding uh, 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 differences. We should work on kebersamaan, not perbedaan. That's why uh, for the first time, ITBM is the first uh, institution who published the full work of Rendra. Oh, yeah. Collectsi lengkap Renza. Even in, in Indonesia, they don't have that. When we launched it in International Book Fair, uh, Indonesian International Book Fair, I remember Pak Wiranto and 
which one of of your best director who become the deputy governor? Uh, uh, who said? Who's your name? I cannot. The filmmaker and also the actor. Oh, uh, Usmar Ismail? No, no. The popular one. Uh, I can't remember. Joko Anwar, Riri Riza, someone. They, they, they. Uh, not daddy. Daddy means uh, not daddy means what? Well. Uh, another name. I, I cannot recall. But he said, "Why Malaysia? Why you you? We have a full collection of in one book the collections of uh, uh, Renra. I said that. I hope Indonesia will do the same for for our writers so that we can work together. This is the yeah. thing that that actually got. Uh, I read uh, all the work of uh, Bumi Manusia, the technology. While uh, in Indonesia, you cannot publish it earlier on. This is the thing that that uh, my belief is that we can export our civilization through literature, and that is the story that we have. Uh, like having uh, the story of I didn't mention about that. You talk about pencak silat just now. Yeah. There's a lot of story that we can share to the world. This is this is the thing that what inspire me. That is uh, that's why I have a courage to talk to the prime minister like that. I said nothing to lose. Just say the the most is that you can you will get scolded. If not, you get something. Five million, for example. Five million. That is my story, Ellen. Okay, that's that's such an inter interest, interesting and including story, and and you should listen to that, guys. That uh, I would like to highlight. Yeah, that uh, the, the 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 interesting sentence or phrase that Pachi mentioned. Everyone or everybody has story, and we should write our own stories. Okay, and and there is a sentence. If you want to know the word, okay, just go on a book and read it. And but if you want to be known by the word, start writing. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Pachi, and. I'll go to Ka Khairan. The same question will go to you, Ka. How can you, or how did you come all this way? Ka? Okay. Why can't you be a person who is respected as an influencer in literacy and recently in cinematography? How can you? Uh, okay. Before I answer that, I will. I will give uh, an opinion to the Encik uh, Khair opinion. Uh, actually, I kind of disagree about the technolog technological advancement that Indonesia and Malaysia cannot compete with the international world. Uh, Enci, sorry, but we have the money. We have the people. What we don't have is the courage. <laughs> we are so scared to enter the... The, the 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 water we we are afraid that we will fail and we can see through the through the regulation to through the through through the business uh, situation uh, but i do agree with you about the collaboration between indonesia and malaysia about the literacy work we should do that actually uh, previously, one of the publisher from Indonesia asked me to publish my books in Malaysia, but I don't really give a solid answer to them because I think yeah, I don't know maybe I don't know why I didn't answer up until now. I, I I'm scrolling through my inbox and <laughs> looking at the message why I didn't answer, but yeah, that is my point. So, Ellen. To answer your question, <laughs> personally, I already answered that in the previous question, but uh, okay. I knock almost all the publishers' doors, and and yeah, I get I got bad answers. I get everything, everything that you read on the website about. A story that came from zero to zero point one. <laughs> <laughs> I ran through that. Uh, I also, I also find out find that negotiate with your family is really tough about my my career decision. Oh yeah. As it you does. know, what is your subject now, Alan? 
and your are you a college student or uh i'm a graduate of communication science uh where 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 do you work oh, Bravo, yeah. oh uh, i work at one of private companies uh in what field uh education education did your family uh agree or yes right. yeah, yeah but my family yeah my family agrees agrees with uh my career uh uh that that is not happening to me <laughs> i choose my way i said that okay i know i, I can re do really well in consulting work in financing work i can do i can do well on that field because i know my capability but this one is so different i mean my blood every time i said that i i will become writer it pumps faster but when i say i'm going to be a consultant okay so what i try i try really to, excited yeah I, actually i'm excited but <sighs> yeah so, so i mean that is what everyone's doing in my my friends doing but i'm not gonna do that because i know writing is my soul and if if i find a hard time to face publishers it's harder when i face my mom <laughs> but after the third book the fourth book when the books make something out of it my mom starts to smile and ask me the royalty <laughs> and what is your mom opinion when you when when she knew that um you are you are the main character or the central character in what what's the film humba humba, humba. dreams oh humba yeah dreams. <laughs> uh, i don't know what really her reaction was because at that time uh, actually we live in different city she live in padang in west Sumatra. i live in jakarta but i do believe that based on what my sister said my mom is always proud and always said to her colleagues her friends oh that is my son that is my son <laughs> and I like that that every time i publish a new book my mom always my mom was getting excited and take uh, her her students she she's a she's a teacher and take her student to the bookstores and and three, uh, and why one of them each, each each of them my book so here's my son here's my son and it's like that and every time i go home where's my royalty <laughs> <laughs> okay that hiron yeah um talking about technological advancement because uh Angie, Khair and Kak Khairan already talked about technological advancement and I'd like to direct you to uh, discuss about the reading habit, even the writing uh, culture, reading or writing habit or culture among the children or even youngsters or youth, okay? Yeah. Uh, the first question that I'd like to ask to Kak uh, Khairan Will you consider that the technological advancement is the main contributory factor yeah, of this kind of problem, this current situation? Yeah. What, what kind the of problem? The, the diminishing of um, children's interests or even youngsters' interests or courage yeah, towards reading and writing. Mm -hmm. And we, we all knew that. We all observed this uh, kind of problem in, this, in, this, in today's technology-focused world. Yeah, yeah. Will you consider or will you blame technological advancement as the main contributory factor? No, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, what? I, I, I see this data from the Backcraft back in 2018. Actually, the number of book sales is growth. I mean, people, people go to the bookstores and read books more than what what we did five years ago, 10 years ago. In my opinion, technology, social media should be, should be your tools, should be your 
your your weapon to 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 get through the readers you should use it you should use the technology uh, carefully because smartphone but dumb people if we don't really use that as a weapon they will kill us and if you aware if you aware alan do you do you use twitter yes i nah. use twitter most of people still read the thread the, the utas on twitter uh, it depends is it a, a quality thread or just a two beer one just a bachot one yeah. but people read through the thread right and yes. the the reading habit still there i mean as a writer as a publisher as an editor you should find a way to reach to the to the readers if you know that from indonesia uh nkchthi nanti kita cerita tentang hari ini that kind of book only only quote quote and quote but her main market is people who don't really read book previously but two years three years after that her readers will be uh, become uh, i mean maybe they will read bumi manusia in five years <laughs> really because you only need one book one simple book to to knock your door to the literacy world after that everything <laughs> good will happen so i don't blame the technology we okay. should use it as our weapon okay thank you kak khairan and i'll go to anche khair okay will you consider regarding to um that there has that there has been an indication or even the even a formal or a scientific investigation that indicates that we are experiencing the diminishing um, not all not in all countries not all around the globe but in perhaps in some civilization or society that we are uh, facing or we are experiencing the diminishing interest among the children okay among children and youngsters or youth uh, in reading or towards reading or even writing okay do you agree with that phenomenon okay we agree with, with such statement and will you blame uh, technological advancement advancement as the main contributor factor if you don't blame technological advancements so what are other contributor factors so we have our children or even a, yeah, younger than we we are okay youth our youth uh, are reluctant to read and write oh Alan. Helen, hello. Helen, yeah. Helen ni susah banget. <laughs> okay, what are other factors? <laughs> Dan I, I understand, I understand. Yeah. I'm just joking, no worries. Okay, okay. <laughs> saya, saya, saya faham. Saya bercanda saja. Okay, uh, sebelum tu, uh, Helen, when you said that uh, you disagree with me on technology earlier on, okay, let's put one. I agree with you that we should have, we can agree to this. And my belief is that uh, maybe because. I'm 55 years old, and you are still young, Hiran. The way how we think uh, different, and that is a uh, good one, I think. Okay, you are asking about there would, is there any diminishing interest among kids in reading? Uh, I disagree with that statement. Firstly, is because basically, okay, uh, because year and year in and year out, people always say that there is a diminishing interest in for youngsters to read, but. My belief is that now we have a generation where all the father and mother is an educated one. An educated father and mother actually will always encourage the kids to read. And to say that the, the kids are not uh, reading anymore, my belief is not based on the tangible proof. Is there a really study on that? How you come to that conclusion? Uh, more often than not, we just say things because we, we look at the, the kids always look at the handphone and look at the cartoon, etc. Upeni pain. We thought Upeni. that the uh, interest in reading diminishing. And my belief is technology is encouraging kids to read more if we use it properly. 
this is this is the thing because uh, my belief is that in, in in Malaysia, for example, my belief in Indonesia too, when we have more educated parents, they will always ask their kids to read. And by saying so, we are not actually uh, uh, should make a, a harsh conclusion that the kids are not reading anymore. My belief, with the effort of the government, with with the effort of 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 the school in Malaysia, we have a project we call Nilam, that every student must read certain book every year, and there is competition to it. The the for them to read is still there. The only thing is that it may be the medium. Those days we buy books, but now we are no longer buying books. We read through. Uh, Uh, phone or other gadget. This is the thing that w- that we should look. Before we arrive to a conclusion, I my belief is that we must make a, a thorough study on that. Okay, that's why I said. And my belief is that, uh, like Hiren, we cannot run away from technology. Like uh, after this, I will uh, I will watch Humba Dream because yeah. I never knew about that. I will watch Humba Dream. I check it is in Netflix, so I'll watch after this. So that I can know the, uh, how Hiren acts in that in that movie. And yeah, no, please don't. The central character. Please don't watch the film, please. <laughs> <laughs> I will still watch it when we no, then I will watch. That is technology, you know. Yeah. This is my super of moment you said that I can check, and my belief is that technology will encourage people to read more, not okay. uh, vice versa. Okay. Okay. Um, I grasp the main. Uh, I've got. I've got the point of uh, our speaker's statement. Okay. Uh, so uh, perhaps this is the the last question. Okay. Uh, Pachi, Nci uh, Khair, apa kira-kira yang kontribusi semacam apa dari pemuda-pemuda kita ini, dari our youngsters, ya, yeah, yang bakal kemudian bisa memberikan. Uh, kontribusi untuk pengembangan literasi, pe- uh, pertumbuhan atau pe- pembangunan ya literasi ya di negara kita masing-masing, di bangsa kita. Apa kira-kira yang uh, kontribusi semacam apa Pak Cik? Pada saya, uh, uh, in my humble opinion, we should look uh, at our own jati diri. What is actually uh, make us unique and beautiful? and share to the world. We have all the experiences that actually uh, we can share to people and that value which is you know, which universally can be accepted can become our legacy. Uh, my belief is like uh, when I said to Hire, uh, I said earlier on we cannot compete with the uh, western uh, about our technology what I'm trying to say is On a new thing, yes, we may compete, but on the things that we all did there, uh, maybe we are hundred years back. Of course, uh, if we want to compete, we can compete. But there's other things. The value make us as a strong nation should be shared to the world. And for this, my belief is that our sense of respect to the parents. We can disagree, of course, we disagree with our parents, but we have a certain way of how look at it. This is. Some other value that we have, uh, experience of Wali Songo when they try to convert uh, our people to Islam, they are using you know uh, they are using creativity, and that creativity, my belief is that the strength of our jati diri that we should share uh, to, to to others. When I uh, I read, for example, how Andrea Hiat wrote the uh, Laska Pelangi. Uh, Like Harin said, it is always the thing that attached to our heart will make us look at that. It reminds us of the our kids those days, etc., etc. Sorry, I agree with Harin Kuhn that you should not write a story. But uh, the, the, when you choose a story, it must a story that uh, can be related to the people who will read it. And my belief is that we have a lot of that kind of story. Thank you, Ellie. Okay. There are two keywords from the answer given uh, by Anci, Anci Khair. Uh, those are the underlying value or the characters of our own civilization. And then it will become legacy 
for the future generation. Okay. And then I'll go to uh, Kak Khairan. Kak, apa nih yang harus dilakukan pemuda yang kemudian bisa mem- menjadi kontribusi buat bangsa dan negara kita nih dalam hal literasi ini? Uh, microphone. As a writer, I would say, go writing. As a reader, I will say, go reading. You should more. You should read more. Yeah. That is, I think, I think that is too solid, too solid recommendation, <laughs> because menulis adalah membangun peradaban, membaca, menghidupkan peradaban itu. So it takes to tango. Okay, menulis adalah membangun peradaban, membaca adalah menghidupkan peradaban. Peradaban, mantap. Okay, so that that is not actually the last question because I have another type of question and these are the quick questions and consequently you should answer it quickly. Okay, first okay. Uh, ke Kak Khair lo ya, Kak Khairan. Ini pas nama pas sama namanya ya, mantap jadi <laughs> Kak Khairan. Okay, yes. you should answer it quickly. Yep. Okay. Novel or film? Sorry? Novel or film? Novel. Okay, novel. Um, writer or actor? A writer. Writer. Fiction uh, or non-fiction? Uh, fiction. <laughs> okay. Thirty passport or KBSK, KBJB? KBSK. Okay. Hollywood or New York Times? <laughs> since the since I never go to the US, so I cannot choose. I can I can see those as two separate things. Oh no, you should answer it. Hollywood, New York and Hollywood for me just the same. <laughs> Hollywood or New York Times? Okay, New York Times. New York Times. Okay. Okay, thank you, Kak Khairan. Okay. okay. Thank you. Selanjutnya untuk Apache untuk Unci uh, Khair. Hmm. ITBM or IIUM? IIUM. Okay. <laughs> Publisher or writer? Publisher. Publisher. Um, setulus kata o oh, antara bunga sinar antara antara antara, antara bulan antara, antara bulan antara sinar mengap antara sinar bulan mengapa? Okay, the second book. Antara, the second book. Antara banyak sinar entah mengapa bulan juga menawan panas. Antara banyak pandang. sinar entah mengapa bulan juga menawan panas. Antara banyak sinar entah mengapa bulan juga menawan panas. Okay. <laughs> fiction or non-fiction? Fiction. Uh, sastra serius atau sastra populer? Sastra serius. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I, I, why I, I choose I, IUM? Because why? I'm not. Because basically now. I'm the chairman for the education wing of IIUM. IIUM. <laughs> I'll, I'll reserve the, the official website of IIUM, and I yeah, I found your photos as well as the uh, wow. detailed information about your position. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's our show. That's our talk show. So this is the opportunity But, but for... before that, Ellen, before that, Ellen, I want to highlight Yep. My belief is that uh, you should reply to the request from the publisher in Malaysia so that your work will be published in Malaysia. Uh, have you ever heard that about Fixi publisher? Fixi, yes. I know Amin Muhammad, the owner for Fixi. Oh, yes, okay. he's one of well-known publisher. Fixi. Oh, okay, really? Muhammad. Yes, I know Amin Muhammad. Okay, cool. I know him personally. Okay, cool. And, I, will, and, I will respond okay. then. Okay. You should respond to Ami. He's a serious publisher, and he okay. is a writer too. Serious publishers? My book is. Uh, no, no. What I mean, a serious publisher means not a serious book. Okay, but, okay. Uh, uh, uh... <laughs> I got it. I get your point. Okay, thanks. Okay, so uh, it is on our schedule that uh, this is the time I'll give a chance to Kak Khairan, okay, for the promotion. 
I'm already asked uh, by the committee to provide um, specific space, okay, uh, the, uh, allocated space for you. Okay, Kak Khaira. Okay, uh, this is kind of unique because I never promote my own book in a <laughs> seminar, but if you are Indonesia, if you love to read, or if you have something in mind that still unsolved, maybe my books can solve your problems and if you want to get my books, just go straight to the Gramedia, to the Gramedia and pick my book from the bestseller self. If there is none, you can blame the the Mbak Mbak Mas Mas Gramedia. <laughs> if you are from Malaysia or um, India or somewhere else, uh, you can uh, you can get those books on Google Play. That's it. Okay, thank you, Kak Khairan. And so this is the session for Q&A, question and answers. So, um, okay, I'll open this session with um, three participants will be allowed, will be welcome to ask their questions, okay? And you can, you can ask the question by using the private chat, yeah, directly, directly into me, okay? Or you can use raise hand feature. Or it, I believe that it, it is better. It is better to ask your questions directly to me by using private chat. Okay, I've got one. I've got one participant to uh, to, to, to ask the question. Okay, uh, my name is Zahra. Can I ask a question for both speakers? So. Uh, how to begin okay how to begin writing something that people actually not aware of mm. to i mean how to begin writing something that people actually not aware of or people don't care about and turn it into something more interesting to read okay how to begin writing something that people actually not aware of or people don't care about and turn it into something which is more interesting to it. Okay, I want to go to uh, Encik Khoir first. That one, I think Harin can answer better. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it is like this. Uh, you have friends, you write something, ask your friend to read it. Ask uh, other opinion, whether that interests them or not. Second opinion, third opinion will always make us a better person. And don't be shy. You should actually ask others to look at your work and then give some opinion. And it will make things good. For example, my own personal experience. When I, I'm writing my third book, Red Blues, CEO Jadi Pemandu, at the first instant, I, I think I, want, I, I just want to tell the story of, of my, my experience uh, become a, a great driver. But when uh, my editor looked at it, he said, no, no, you should not do that only. It becomes just a story. Why can't you have like uh, your imbasan as a CEO looking at that? And well, at the end of the day, when we see it, my publisher love it. They say that, well, looking back at your nota imbasan CEO, make it uh, 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 very good, he said. This is the thing that, that we should look. You want to improve, get second opinion. Okay? Macam apa Hylian sebut tadi kan? Kalau apa mimpi ni, tak akan tinggi kalau kita tak beritahu orang. Ya, yeah, okay. uh, 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 Itu kan? That, 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 that we should have that courage to look at the other opinion on that. That's my opinion, Alan. Okay. So, it's your time, Kak Khairan. First thing is, you have to convince yourself first. Do you think this this material is really inspiring? Is really good? Is really tough provoking? If you still doubt that this stuff can do that list of things, then you cannot confess other people. Actually, I I have already answered this kind of problem in almost every seminar. I also explain on my YouTube. If you want to write something convincingly. The first thing is, do you do you really think that your 
you're you're interested enough in this stuff. If you're not, why? And the second thing is just like Anchi Khair said, put away your backspace button, throw it, uh, unfriend the button, and if you if you are a Muslim, uh, you know that breakfasting berbuka puasa. I always use the analogy that is from my father. If you want to start to write something, just start as you breakfasting. What kind of dessert, what kind of food, what kind of drinks you take at the very first second of the azan? Is it the chendol? Is it the ondel ondel? Is it the ching chow or something else? <laughs> yeah, that's something must be some you really like the most, right? So start writing from something that you really like the most, mm. or something that you hated the most. That is the answer. Okay, something start with something that you like the most or you hate the most. Yeah. Yeah. That's the sentence from that's yeah. a statement from Kak Khoiran. So if you start I, a story from Pada suatu hari, once upon a time, there is already millions of story like that. We don't want to invest our time to read a story like, oh, dia bangun, kemudian membuka jendela, kemudian, oh my God, I threw that kind of book. Okay, thank you, Kak Khoiron. So, I've gotten the second, the second participant who want to ask the question. Are you Nur Ma'rifah? So, uh, I welcome you to open your mic as well as your video camera and you can uh, ask it directly to our both speakers today. Ika Ayunur Ma'arifa. Yes. Thank you for this nice occasion. My question is, have you ever in a position or situation that you feel like I don't want to write anymore or I don't want to publish a book again. In, like, I feel bored in writing. Have you ever in this situation or in this position? So what will you do? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ayunur Ma'arifa. So we'll go first to Kak Khairan. <coughs> Uh, actually, that uh, are you asked the question? Okay, so I never feel bored because I knew I knew what I'm doing. I knew what I'm doing. And the first question is about surrendering. No, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I came to that point when when my seven book didn't really go well. I mean, okay, in this eighth book, this one, I should make a very, 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 very big hit on the store. So if my work fail, I will stop. But at that point, everything hikes up. That is the answer, Ike. If I get bored sometimes, no, I don't really get bored because I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, thank you, Kak Khairan. Uh, so I'll go to Anche Khair. Silakan, Pak Cik. Uh, I'm not full-time writer. So, and, and uh, well, uh, I think I didn't will get bored of anything. Yes, but if, if you, if you feel, will feel, feel bored, um, sometime perhaps one day. Okay, what what kind of solution? What kind of measures that you will do in order to you will overcome your boredom? I have a lot of books in my my house that I'm yet to read. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have a lot of movies that I I am yet to watch, and I love to rewatch uh, Godfather. So yeah. I don't know when I will get bored. And now my my kids love all Korean. Uh, drama and movies which oh. I can join them. So, I don't know okay. when I will get what. 
Yeah, yeah. those are completely the practical solution. <laughs> If you feel <laughs> bored in writing, yeah. Okay. Oke, okay, thank you, uh, Peci. Selanjutnya ada uh, siapa ini? Oke, okay. from Nur Azima. From Nur Azima. Uh, my question to speakers today: How how to discipline to keep writing? How do we try to discipline ourselves in Ya, yeah, in writing. To keep writing. Oke, okay, Paci, boleh? Uh, again, how how to discipline? Ya, yeah, how yeah, how to discipline? My belief is that you should set a target. If you want to write for what purpose? If you want to publish when you want to get published. By having uh, the end of your intention, that means uh, you, you have the aim, your objective, Put it, it in the like uh, by March next year, my first book will be published. For example, then you will you will work on it. Then by having that, you get the discipline. You have a target, set the target. Once you get the target, you will get whatever uh, things that you want. Yeah. Set the target. Set the target. The key, according to uh, Pachi Hoyer's opinion, is setting your goals or setting your objective yeah mm -hmm. so we'll go to Kak Khoiren. actually uh, since the Q Q &A session <coughs> i continue my writing okay. that is an answer to the question so co be consistent uh, in my writing class the most common problems It's not lack of ideas, but lack of willingness to write every day, every single day. You only need to put one or two or three hours. Uh, I, I rarely put three hours in a day, but I, I publish 12 books, only two hours in the morning from 5 to 7 a.m. That's what I'm doing. So... Lack of willingness is more dangerous to the to a writer compared to lack of ideas. Is that right? Yeah, because the, this time I had a bunch of ideas that really need to be written quickly, but I only have 10 fingers. A professional writer, a real writer will never lack of ideas. But an amateur one, a mature one, They will always say, oh, writer's blog, writer's blog, oh, to be cool, they said writer's blog. No, that is a myth. Okay. Okay, thank you, Kak Khoiran and Pachi Khoir. So, uh, okay, I uh, already got a new answer. Rizal Watoni, okay. You are allowed to open your mic as well as your video camera. Rizal Watoni. Hello, Rizal Watoni. Okay, I will read Rizal. Okay. We can't, we can't, your, you, we can't your voice clearly. Perhaps it's better if you plug, plug off the headset. Hello. Okay. Okay. We can. We can. Clear. Okay. Clear. Uh, I have a short question for our uh, lecture. I say. Uh, how to understand well what we have uh, to read? Uh, because I have uh, read many books, but my public speak, uh, my public speaking is uh, have not improved. So uh, uh, I will. What I mean, uh, uh, I I need some explanation. I get your uh, point. Yes. I get your point. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay, Kak Fairan, mau jawab dulu. 
that's come from experience, bro. Rizal Watoni. Next time you attend a webinar, you should be the very first pe person to ask question. Okay, that is how. There's a very quick answer to your situation right now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, enough. Kak Khair? Kak Khair? Enough. Enough. That is enough. Okay. Please, Apache Khair. Yeah, uh, if, if you, you know how to speak, you should speak a lot. Exactly like what Khairan said. You should practice speaking, not practice reading. If you read yeah. a lot, but you don't speak a lot, then you won't improve your public speaking. Just say it. Uh, my belief is that there's always ways that we can convince people. Regardless. Okay, that's all. Okay, thank you, Pachi Khair and Ka Khairan. Okay, um, so I will allow two more participants to ask the question. Only two more participants, okay? Okay, quick, quickly. Quickly. If there is no any participants, more to two more participants to ask the questions okay adrian adrian okay just open your microphone and and uh, switch on your video camera and ask directly your questions to our speakers adrian adrian hello adrian yeah Okay. Uh, the, the, the two speakers. Uh, what are the tricks and tips uh, of becoming a writer? Okay. Enough. Enough for Adrian. Okay. Enough. Okay. And she higher. I can I cannot really hear the question. Can you okay. Ellen? Okay. What is the question? Uh, what are the tricks? What are the tricks and tips to become a book writer? Okay, that's a that's a it is a common question. What are tips and tricks according to your personal viewpoint? Oh, I don't know. I believe that everybody can write, everybody have a story. Just write it. Okay. I, my belief is that if you have a discipline to write and publish it. Then you can be a writer. Okay. The real tip and tip, uh, I think Hiren know better than me lah, because he only published more than ten books. I think. Yeah, twelve books. Twelve books. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, guys. Actually, guys. Uh, until uh, Hoyer already mentioned that, uh, and I uh, I highlighted this uh statement. Everyone has to. Read, everybody has to. Read, and one thing the only thing that you should do is write or start to write your story that stories yeah in your entire life okay so perhaps that is the key yeah? that is the um the trick or the tip from uh, Anche Hoyer. okay next Ka, Ka Hoyeran. every time i talk in a seminar before the seminar began, I always say to the moderator, if a question like this comes up, don't give that a change. Okay. <laughs> because the answer is already everywhere on Google. Okay, that is not it. <laughs> yeah. You just can Google it. How to become a writer? How yeah. to publish a book? Come on. If you want to publish something, but you don't know how to Google, how? Yeah. Okay. That has been that has been highlighted by our second speaker. <laughs> okay, you can just go on. To, you can just set up the website and then find. Yeah, there are many there are many resources which tell you which will tell you how the step by step guidance to become a writer. I agree with uh, both speakers. Okay, uh, the last question, Muhammad Fauzi. Okay. Uh, it's a bit um, a question we which we ask you about uh, your opinion. Okay, your personal statement is really needed for this question. Okay, Mohammad Fauzi. 
please open your mic and switch on your video camera. This is the last question. This is the last chance for the participant to ask the question. Okay, Mohamed Fauzi. Okay, is it good if Indonesia and Malaysia are collaborating in writing a book? Maybe like uh, we know like maybe Malaysia loves uh, Indonesian book and maybe Indonesian loves Malaysian books, but it's a very different kind of um, two author can write one book that Malaysia and Indonesian can understand the book. So, in your opinion, is it good if the book has been published or have the collaborate can meet? Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Langsung ke Clairen. It depends on the ideas. Depends on the vision of the writings. If both writers want to. Yeah, depends on what are they aim to. I met this person in a literacy festival in Jakarta. He said he came from Malaysia and I think his writing is good. And he asked to collaborate, but I, but I cannot because the genre is so different. He writes horror, but I cannot write that kind of stuff. Actually, it depends on the the vision the 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 yeah the vision of the writings if the vision is the same we can go along the way okay okay it's your it's your time uh, uh to, pro to provide response uh, agreed with Hiren depends on the vision but uh, uh when as a CEO of ITBM in my tenure we try to do that we collaborate with Sarah and Obor publishing uh, short yeah, stories of uh, Malaysian and uh, Malaysian and Indonesian women writers. Uh, we start publishing that. We publish uh, uh, combinations of uh, Zawawi Imran and some Sidi Nusman in uh, uh, poetry. Uh, but the, the, it does not really become a bestseller what. It may be as a part of the introduction. My belief is that uh, uh, we can have actually Indonesian writer in Malaysia and Malaysian writer in Indonesia. That would be a better way. But collaboration will depend very much on the project and uh, what actually uh, the, the idea behind that writing. Okay, thank you, Pakcik uh, Khair. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's our talk show today. And uh, thanks for our guest speakers. Ada Pak Cik Khoir. Okay, sehat-sehat, Pak. Selalu sehat-sehat, selalu jaga diri dan keluarga. Okay, okay. okay. sama-sama. Si Kak Khairan. Okay, oh, okay. ada yang ketawa itu. Okay. Thank you so terima much. Kasih. Thank you so much, Ellen. And kawan-kawan. Yeah, terima kasih. It's such an honor to lead this discussion session in this webinar. Okay, uh, thanks for all the participants as well as well as the committee. I'm Alan Dipranata, so it should be back to Mr. Of Ceremony. Master Ceremony, Master of Ceremony, the committee. Okay, thank you very much for um, Mr. Khair, Kak Hairan, and Kak Alan um, for covering the questions from the um, both committee, Kak Alan, and also the audience. Um, also, thank you for the insightful talk. And for the participants, we have the quiz for you. Um, we also have the prizes if you um, join the quiz. So I will move the session to Afel. Afel, please. Okay. Hello. Good day, everybody. Good day, everyone. I'm Ophelia Yonanda. And on behalf of Creativo, I want to thank uh, all of you for joining this event. And I'm, I apologize if I can turn my camera on in case of my camera is having some troubles so uh, but i feel your enormous energy from here okay so next uh we will have a quiz and the present for this quiz is ready for three winners 
And for the winners, we will contact you uh, by the data that you have filled on the form on your registration form before. Jadi di sini kuisnya akan kami akan dimenangkan oleh tiga orang pemenang dan pemenang akan kami hubungi melalui data registrasi yang sudah diisi oleh teman-teman sebelumnya. Begitu ya teman-teman. Pertanyaannya hanya ada lima, just five questions, but This quiz is limited only for 25 persons. Quiz ini hanya bisa diikuti oleh 25 orang. Jadi siapa cepat dia dapat. Uh, ini link yang sudah diberikan dan saya juga akan atau saya akan memberikan link juga dari komentar keduanya bisa digunakan silahkan. 3 2 1 Can you access the quiz, guys? Is the quiz okay? Well, maybe you can also share the quizzes uh, page. Okay, uh, I will. Oh, I see that the quiz is already started.
It's me, Alfredon. Uh, okay, guys, have you enjoyed the quiz? Hello, guys. Yeah, so, of course, you do, Afal. Um, you can, um, apa namanya, re announce. Okay, I will announce the winner. The third winner is Nikia. The second winner is me. Who is me? Me. <laughs> Yang pakai username me. Siapa? Agar. Uh, Iftinan. Okay, Iftinan. And the first winner is Adrian. Okay, we will. Nikia. Uh, are you here, Kak Nikia? Yes. Okay. Uh, kami akan menghubungi melalui data yang sudah kakak-kakak sekalian isi pada form registrasi. Selanjutnya untuk pemberian hadiahnya. Okay. Maybe that's enough from our quiz. See you tomorrow, guys, on our next quiz. Thank you for your enthusiasm. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wah, akhirnya kita sudah berada di penghujung acara. Terima kasih untuk teman-teman yang sudah bergabung dalam webinar ini. Terima kasih untuk seluruh pendukung acara, dan juga tentunya terima kasih untuk Kak Khairen dan Pak Khair selaku pemateri pada acara kita hari ini, dan Kak Alan sebagai moderator. Sebelum berpisah, teman-teman peserta bisa mengisi attendance and feedback survey yang sudah kami siapkan. Sekarang kita dokumentasi dulu ya. Please open your camera.
Untuk slide pertama. Siap-siap ya. Satu, dua, tiga. Oke, okay, sudah. Sekarang untuk slide kedua. Satu, dua, tiga. Oke, okay, sudah. Terima kasih sekali lagi. Akhirnya saya pamit undur diri. Terima kasih atas perhatiannya. Mewakili seluruh kerabat yang bertugas, saya Putri Amalia, selamat siang dan sampai jumpa di webinar besok dengan pembicara Pak Aryo Muhammad dan Tuan Ramle Awang Murshid. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Cantik. Semuanya. Thank Jangan you. lupa fotonya di-share di WhatsApp group. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Kita jumpa besok lagi. Ma. Nah, see you tomorrow. Ma. 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 Ma.